Alright guys, so we've been playing with the Melee 2 module for the last couple hours now, and I think I'm finally ready to showcase and create a tutorial on how to create your own weapon and attack combos for it. So this is what I got here, and I got some combos, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and it's pretty basic stuff, but I haven't really seen anything else on it. Not even by the developers yet, so I thought I'd throw this out there just to get people started with it who can't figure it out. So yeah, if you're interested in something like this, or if you guys just want to wait, whatever it may be, I'm going to get into it. So, let's do this. So I've already, obviously, created it. I'm going to do it again from scratch for you guys, though, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete the scripts that I made. And our weapon here, we are also going to delete. So... Let's go ahead and now, from start, we just basically have our character and our camera shot. I'm sure by now everybody knows how to do that. There's nothing there, no buttons do anything, no inputs, so yeah, let's do this. I'm going to create an empty folder down here in the hierarchy, and or not hierarchy, project folder, and um, we're going to call this our sword. Alright, under our sword we're going to go to create game creator, melee, weapon. We're going to call this weapon our sword. And let's see. We need to add a combat state. So let's go ahead and create game creator, character, basic state. I'm going to call this sword state. And Obviously you're going to need animations, or you can use the animations provided through Melee 2. I don't want to do that because I want to get used to the idea of putting in custom animations or other animations. So I'm using the Mega Animation Pack for this. I'm going to go to the Melee Warriors and get the movement animations here. We're only going to be using the top one, the Locomotion Circular 8 points. So we're going to go ahead and drop these in here, so backwards forwards, left and right, and I mean you can do these ones too if you want, so if you got them, do them, if not, don't worry about it. And my mistake last time, I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working, because I didn't put an idle animation in, and I thought I completely screwed everything up, but that wasn't the case, so... Don't forget your idle animation. Combat idle. There we go. If you have entry and exit animations, you might as well throw them in there. I don't think this actually comes with any, which sucks, but that's alright. Yeah, no, I don't think there is any. It's unfortunate. But it's whatever. Okay. So that's it for animations for now. Not completely done with them but for now so on our sword we're gonna go ahead and drop the sword state in there and now we need to so we don't I'm not gonna be doing um, a combo asset I'm gonna be creating an embedded one which basically allows you to add um, different I don't even know how to explain it yet because it's still all new to me, but we're going embedded, not asset, because I'm not making a combo asset. I'm making skills. And then I'm going to create this four times over. So the first one is going to be this one, new skill, and the other three are going to be sub-skills of that skill. Okay. And that is going to be under our sword. We are going to create game creator melee skill. This is going to be attack one. And because I want my character to move as he attacks, I am going to be putting on an avatar mask of an upper body. If you don't have that, or don't know what to do with that, just go to motion, and use a root motion. They're going to be stationary when they attack, so... But I want to move, so... For my first attack, let's see... I've got this laid out already in my head, so I wanted the... Um, One-handed attack one for my first one. Alright, 
you put the upper body on and that is it I'm also going to turn off the trail for it because I don't have any trails um, I'm not going to put in any effects now because this is just going to be a simple video strikes use striker we're going to be using a striker by ID we haven't made the striker yet but it's going to be called sword striker and then charge we don't need anything for that so just the sword striker ID um, and the animations that's all you'll need for that now we can go ahead and duplicate this three more times and it should have the same sword striker perfect all we need to do now is just change the animations for that so now I'm gonna go number two and then for the third one will be number uh, f four no three yeah should be three right sure and number four I'm gonna use uh, it's gonna be under the long-handed animations here and it's going to be the fourth one because it's a spinning animation. It's a good way to end a combo, visually saying. Um, yeah, so there's our four attacks. Now we're going to go back into our sword and drop these in here. So attack one will go right here. Attack two. Three. And four. And these are under our A category, and you'll see why in a minute. So now, we have everything we need in here. Now we just need to make a prefab to go in there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create an empty. Whoops. And this is going to be called sword prop and I'm gonna find a sword prop to put into that I think I already have one selected in here from earlier no I do not sword prop all right and we now need to add our striker so create an empty we're going to call it striker and we're going to add the striker component change the striker ID to sword striker so now that thing earlier that we typed sword striker in the four attacks will be bound to this and this thing's collision I believe that's how that works um, let's create a capsule and position it for the sword it's looking good. Oh, that was faster than I thought. Alright. No trail material, so don't even worry. Unless you got one. Save that. We're going to drop sword prop into our sword. Okay. And now, let's see. We're going to go scroll down to the bottom here. We are going to add the instruction of attach a prop. So attach the sword prop to the player's right hand. And I don't know if you noticed earlier, my character's rotation is on pivot, meaning I can walk backwards. Oh, hold on a second. There we go meaning I can walk backwards and my camera won't rotate with my character like this my camera still facing this way forwards I can turn it and go backwards but when I have the sword equipped I would like my character to rotate towards the camera so when I orbit around him he will turn with it you don't have to do this is completely optional but I'm going to do it so go back to our sword weapon that we created go down here you're going to rotation character look object direction of the main camera on unequip we will remove prop and drop our sword prop in that and pivot our player oh, 
Okay. So that should all work now. The only thing we have not done is actually line the sword in our hand, but or set the inputs for attacking and equipping it. Everything else should be in place though, I believe. I'm just double checking here. Yeah, okay. Pretty sure we're good. Um, player, let's create an empty called combat scripts. I'm going to create another empty called sword. Actually, I'm going to rename this weapon scripts. You don't have to follow me exactly, I'm just nitpicky. Weapon scripts, sword, create an empty, equip. And another one called attack. So trigger on input. Which one is this? Attack or equipped? Okay. On input, we're going to go with a keyboard press of whatever you want. I'm going with E for now. We're going to run conditions. And then add conditions. Branch if. Melee has equipped melee. Player, sword. I'm going to start the first one off as false. Then we will melee equipped weapon player sword. Run the branch or duplicate the branch. If is equipped, then we will uh, unequip the sword. Okay, for the attack, trigger on input, and I'm going to go mouse left. We will execute input of A, and as you can remember, our sword is tied to A, or sorry, our attacks are tied to A. I think. No, input. Yeah, so if you click on one of these, yeah, A. These are all on A. If you wanted a different, like, say, um, like some kind of sword block, I guess, you would do, like, block one, two, three, and four, or whatever, or block one, I guess, set that on B, and you would have a block that is execute B. And that will only apply to if that weapon, or if that um, is equipped, the sword. So, let's go ahead and test this. I believe I got everything. I kind of rushed that on my end. Hopefully I was able to be clear enough. So, let's try this here. So before we even equip, oh, I never lined it up. That's what we got to do. So, I'm in play mode. Let's go ahead and line it up. So yeah, that doesn't look that good. So we're gonna pause. And now I gotta dig through my mannequin and find it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna line it up in here first. So let's go into local and let's see. So, let's do this as 90, 0, 255, that works, 0, 0.15, point, whoops, 0, 0.03, no, close enough, let's get it in the hand and just tinker those adjustments a little more. So it's not going through the thumb there. It doesn't have to be exact. It's probably going to be different per character model anyways, but that's looking pretty good on my end. Let's just make it a little more simple to copy over. 0, 4, 96. Okay. 
So we're going to copy these numbers over. So I'm going to go to sword that I created and under the attach prop, we will type in those values. So x and x, so 0 0.004 and minus 255. So 0 0.004 minus 255. All right, y values 0 0.07 and 0. 0 0.07 and 0 0.022 96 0 0.022 and 90, 96 alright and let's go ahead and put it away, pull it out, there it is nice and lined up, I'm going to stop it and then play it one more time to be safe There we go. So, off the bat, let's double test this so my pivot is working. Alright, no sword in sight. I will press equip sword. There it is. Now I turn towards the camera. And we should have a four attack combo. So, one, two, three, and four. My third attack is not right though. I didn't want that one. I wanted, I guess, attack number four. But, and also I can move and do it, which is what I wanted. We're going to press E and put it away. And our pivot is back. That is exactly what I'm looking for, except for my third attack. That basically concludes this video, though. I'm just going to go ahead and switch this real fast to number four, I believe. Yes, that's the one I wanted. Okay. Should look a lot better now with that. And let's go ahead and test that one more time. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, you know, the module's still pretty new, so I'm still learning things with it. Oh yeah, that looks much better now. It more, looks more fluent. But yeah, no, um, I'll probably make a few more tutorials on this. Probably a little more advanced stuff. Maybe see if I can even somehow manage to uh, use guns with it. Because I like to find little things like that kind of break the systems and use it for other reasons, such as my stats for inventory, stuff like that. So I'm going to fool around with it for the next couple days, probably put a little break on my personal project, because this is exciting stuff. New module came out, not a lot of tutorials on it, if not any, not even by the developers themselves. So again, hope this helped, hope you guys enjoyed, and Stay tuned for the next one, whatever that may be, whether it's this or something else. I might even incorporate it with stats. So, yeah. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good one.